My friends, I have some truly wonderful news for you all. In the last two weeks, this channel has gotten back over 2,500 subscribers. YouTube unsubscribed many of you without your knowledge, and I want to thank each and every one of you who checked, realized you'd been kicked out, and resubscribed. Thanks so much for supporting the channel, thanks to everyone who left super thanks, I respond to each one I receive, and if you enjoy this video, then please subscribe or even become a channel member, because I can't save pop culture on my own. I need your help. Thank you for watching, and now, on with the video. Hollywood is dying. We see more and more proof every day that Hollywood is wasting away in its death throes from the woke virus. This is a self-inflicted contagion, my friends, and Hollywood has no one to blame but itself. Patient Zero was Ghostbusters 2016, an obnoxious all-female reboot of the classic Bill Murray Dan Aykroyd film that could have, and should have, represented a localized and contained outbreak of this insidious disease. The movie bombed, was almost universally hated, and lost a lot of money for Sony, but somehow, inexplicably, instead of turning away, Hollywood said, no, no, how can we get on the Ghostbusters 2016 bandwagon? How can we manage to create box office bombs by corrupting franchises with hostile anti-male messaging, incompetent scripts, and extremist propaganda? In short, how can we lose money too? Well, my friends, judging from this weekend's box office figures, Hollywood has mastered the fine art of losing money alienating audiences, and killing themselves off slowly, because as it turns out, this was Hollywood's worst Memorial Day weekend in decades, a weekend box office gross that Variety is calling disastrous. That's right, man. The only thing Hollywood was remembering this Memorial Day weekend was how they used to make money once upon a time. I understand there are a lot of really upset studio executives quaking with fear at just how badly they've destroyed their own industry. You are correct, Harvey Cthulhu. This Memorial Day weekend stunned Hollywood. It was a kind of shock therapy treatment for Tinseltown, and although the patient is lying on the table twitching, shuddering, and wetting themselves in a piddle puddle of failure, I doubt they will learn anything from this sobering disaster. Still, let's look at the facts, shall we? Variety just published an article titled Box Office, Furiosa Just Barely Beats the Garfield Movie in Disastrous Memorial Day Weekend, the Worst in Decades. And in this article, they lay out just how bad this weekend was for any sad, deluded Hollywood executive who still denies these words of wisdom, get woke go broke. In this article, Variety reports, quote, With Monday's estimates, Furiosa ended up generating $26.2 million over the weekend and $32 million for the four days. Garfield was shockingly close behind, with $24 million over the weekend and $31.1 million over the four days. No matter the final order, it's the worst Memorial Day weekend in nearly three decades, including 2020, when theaters were entirely closed due to COVID. Box office comparisons to the same holiday weekend in 2023 are particularly tough, down by nearly 36%. Given that Disney's The Little Mermaid remake took the crown with 118 million, one of the best debuts for the holiday, Overall, this Memorial Day stretch adds to Hollywood's summer woes, as ticket sales remain 22% behind 2023, and a concerning 41% behind 2019, according to Comscore, unquote. If Hollywood is a monkey on the back of cinema-addicted audiences, it would appear from the numbers that a lot of people globally are kicking the Hollywood habit. <laughs> These numbers are sending chills down the spines of executives running studios all over Hollywood, O Skull of Calderon. Summer is the hottest time of year for box office receipts, and yet Comscore tells us summer ticket sales are down by 41% from 2019. That's damn near half the business Hollywood used to do even five years ago, and that suggests 
Hollywood is in a world of shit. Most of the time, Get Woke, Go Broke refers to a particular project that bombs because it's infected with wokeness. But this is far worse news for Hollywood than that. These box office figures suggest that Get Woke, Go Broke has gotten so bad, it now applies to all of Hollywood as an industry, as an institution. People have gotten so fed up with woke messaging in horrible movies and TV shows, their rejection of those particular movies has now spread to a rejection of Hollywood itself. People are sick of lousy movies, extremist, gay, feminist, race-baiting agendas, and disrespect. Endless disrespect of the audience, the franchises, and even themselves. So what does this mean for Hollywood moving forward? As Mr. T famously said, pain. They're making a lot of excuses in the trades, trying to say this is the result of the Hollywood strikes, a result of COVID, on and on and on. But in my opinion, every disastrous milestone like this that Hollywood hits just spells out their doom a little more clearly and brings it to fruition more rapidly. Every day, that studios like Disney pump out boring and insulting woke garbage, Hollywood dies a little more as audiences increasingly get out of the habit of going to movies. Consider, mostly people ignore movies now because there's nothing worth seeing. Just remakes of old cartoons, games, and comics. Oh, hum, we've seen it all before. And of the audience members who are still potentially attracted to theaters because they're less discerning, say, a percentage of these die-hard moviegoers is then further filtered out of going to see movies in theaters by obnoxious woke messaging. And out of the audience members who make it through all of those obstacles and still wind up going to a movie in a theater, a lot of them are then disappointed by the lousy quality of what they're seeing on the screen. So how many times can these die-hards get disappointed before they decide it's just not worth the effort anymore and they stop going to movies not out of outrage, not out of protest, but out of simple boredom. Why the hell go see a soulless modern slice of cinematic corporate cheese whiz when they can just stay home and watch something on TV a lot cheaper and a lot less hassle? At least that way, when they're bored, disgusted, and disappointed by a lousy movie, they haven't had to brave traffic and pay babysitters, adding insult to the injury. To sum up how awful this shit is for Hollywood and just how frightened they should be, I cite the following from The Wrap, an article titled, Four Reasons Why the Memorial Day Box Office Was So Bad. Quote, Heading into Memorial Day weekend, it was already expected that the box office would see the lowest totals from this holiday since the turn of the century. The final results have fallen even below that. The number one film for this weekend, Furiosa, made just $32 million over the four-day period, making it the lowest number one Memorial Day release since 1995 when the family film Casper <laughs> opened to $22 million before inflation adjustment. Box office analysis company Nash Information Systems, operator of The Numbers, had projected a $160 million four-day total prior to the start of the weekend. That would have been enough to make it the lowest Memorial Day weekend since at least 1999. But the final total has clocked in at $128 million, down 37% from last year and the lowest in 26 years. This dramatic low could suggest a real tipping point for the theatrical movie business. What are the implications for the future of a theatrical business when Memorial Day, with well-reviewed movies, hit a 26-year low? And having chosen to embrace streaming while producing movies for theaters, what changes might studios need to make to adjust to the new reality?" Unquote. The answer? Cut the woke bullshit. Stop hiring 20-something purple hairs with tons of body piercings and zero talent. Cultivate healthy respect for your audience and start making movies they want to see, not the movies you want them to see. From the center of the earth, this is Dictor Van Doomcock bidding you all, my friends, stay angry. Ha <laughs>
Ha, 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 ha.